Back in my college days, I learned a lot of things, and like most college students, I learned a lot about alcohol. Things like how many drinks is too many, or if you drink a beer before a big exam, you might do better because you're a little more relaxed. And all these are great lessons that can only be learned in the hallowed halls of academia. But everyone from the freshest freshman to the most senior senior has learned and repeats one drinking mantra over and over. Beer before liquor, never been sicker. Liquor before beer, you're in the clear. This mantra is often repeated as a means of warding off dreaded hangovers. But what's the science behind it? And does this trick actually work? Hey, this is Ryan with Beer by the Numbers, and today we're going to be diving into the science behind the idea that drinking beer before liquor will greatly increase the likelihood that you'll end up with a very unpleasant hangover the next day. Is there any truth to this idea? Or have we all been taught one lesson that really just doesn't hold up to testing? Let's find out. First things first, we have to talk about how our bodies metabolize alcohol in the first place. Alcohol enters our blood via the stomach. But even this first step in the process, we introduce a wide variety of variables that can affect how alcohol is absorbed. If you've ever drank beer on an empty stomach, you know that your body is quick to pull alcohol into your system and you're going to get drunker faster than if your stomach is full and working on other foodstuffs. Researchers at the National Institute of Health have estimated that drinking on an empty stomach can result in alcohol being absorbed up to 75% faster than after eating. And speaking from personal experience, I'd believe that wholeheartedly. This is where some people believe the order of drinks really matters. Liquor is absorbed just slightly faster than beer, but not by much, and ultimately, the total amount of alcohol consumed is much more important in determining how hungover you're going to be than how quickly it is absorbed into the blood. Once alcohol makes its way through the stomach and is absorbed into the bloodstream, it is taken all throughout the body, producing a variety of effects that we all enjoy most of the time. When it finds its way to the liver, though, enzymes immediately get to work breaking down and processing the alcohol molecules. The most common process involves two enzymes, alcohol dehydrogenase and aldehyde dehydrogenase. Ugh, that's quite a mouthful. I'm just going to go with their common abbreviations, ADH and ALDH. First, the ADH enzyme grabs a couple hydrogen atoms from the alcohol and uses oxygen from the blood to make some water and a compound called acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde is actually a pretty dangerous compound in the body as it's known to be a pretty potent carcinogen. Luckily, ALDH swoops in to break things down once more, removing a couple more atoms creating water and CO2, both of which can easily be expelled from the body. Now, this process can only work so quickly, and if you consume alcohol at a faster rate than your body can break it down, you're going to get drunk. And if you get drunk enough, you will earn yourself a date with the hangover fairy. So our ultimate scientific question is, if you consume the same amount of alcohol over the same amount of time and just change the order of whether you consume beer first or liquor first, are you going to make yourself sicker? Look, I'm not going to beat around the bush any longer. Once you scientifically control for the total amount of alcohol consumed and the time over which it's consumed, there is no statistical difference in how likely you are to be hungover if you drink beer before your liquor. Scientists have done dozens of studies and have found consistently that the amount of alcohol consumed is the main factor in how hungover you be, not what kind of alcohol you drink and what order you take those drinks in. But can millions of college students really be wrong about this? How in the world did beer before liquor even become a common phrase then? Well, I can answer that with science, but not with biology. Rather, we need to turn our attention to the science of psychology. Think about the progression of your night as you drink. The first few beers take a little while to put down, but as you relax and the alcohol begins to take effect, it takes a whole hell of a lot of less effort to drink each new beer. Each beer goes down faster than the previous one until you lose counts and you are just drinking pretty quickly. For most of us, 
This is completely fine as long as you stick with beer. Over the course of your session so far, you've increased the rate of consumption, but not the alcohol content of what you're consuming. However, if you get to that point of rapid consumption and then decide to switch to liquor, not only have you increased the rate of consumption, but you've increased the amount of alcohol you're taking in by 30 to 40% per drink. This is where you black out and wake up in someone's yard naked with one of your most monumental hangovers ever orchestrated. However, if you start with liquor, and as the alcohol takes effect and your rate of consumption increases, you decide to switch to beer. Just like before, your rate of consumption has increased. However, the amount of alcohol consumed per drink has decreased by 30 to 35 percent. Essentially, you've begun to wean yourself off alcohol intake and can land safely from your drunken flight the next morning. So essentially, drinking beer before liquor won't inherently make you sicker, but it will make you more likely to drink more alcohol in the session, which makes a hangover much more likely. But if you go into the bar knowing you're going to have a couple beers and one liquor-based drink, it really doesn't matter what order you drink them in. But if you're like me and you sometimes go out not really sure what you're going to be having, it's probably better to start with liquor. Today's topic was suggested by Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. Jerry does some great beer and snack reviews and has a ton of great content over on his channel. Please check out the link in the description below. If you have a topic you'd like to see covered here on Beer by the Numbers, let me know in the comments section below. Or if not, tell me your worst hangover story. Maybe you'll even see mine down there. And be sure to hit that subscribe button to be alerted each time we publish great beer content here on YouTube. Once again, this has been Ryan with Beer by the Numbers, and I'll see you in our next video.